Okay, this is Tony Kager. Doing a quick review of the Best of Raw Volumes 1 and 2. I only reviewed Disc 1 in this review because I haven't seen this 2 yet. So Disc 1 is Volume 1 and this 2 is Volume 2. So I'll be reviewing Volume 1 in this review. Um, I've already shown this in an earlier video, but here's the box. Here's the bag. And let me just get into review. Pull out the insert so I can read through it. So here was the documentary. For a second, I don't know how many chapters it is. It's a good document. It's like, I don't know, like 45 minutes, 50 minutes. This goes over some of the stuff that happened in 1997 and 1998. I think the second half of 1997 and the first half of 1998. Um, some good stuff. You see a lot of Kane and the Undertaker in there. A lot of awesome McMahon. Ross. Yes, the main guys in this documentary were Austin Rock, Undertaker Kane, Mick Foley, and McMahon. There were some of the guys that got mentioned a lot. Here are the extras. The interesting about the extras is like, Entire extras focus on like um, mostly four people. Focus on Undertaker, Kane, Steve Austin, and Mick Foley. Now Rock's in a little bit, and so is McMahon. But those four guys, Austin, Foley, Man, um, Kane, and Undertaker, they're, they're like really mentioned a lot in these extras. Like here, let's, let me go over some of these extras here. Here, Kyle, title take, belt takes a dip. That's when. The Rock, no, it was Austin, drew the Rock's Inter Kyle Ch Championship belt into the, into the water. So I've seen that many times, and I think I own it on a few DVDs. Sean called to the Undertaker. It's a new like segment I've never seen before, so that's good. Austin takes a stand. Forget what that was, but I don't think I've seen it before. King versus the Grill was kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. They had the Phoenix Suns. Mascot the girl the gorilla in the ring it was probably an indie wrestler inside of the costume And then Kane just comes out and chokes at him. It was kind of an interesting segment You got Jerry Lauren and the King you got Jerry Lauren and Jim Ross and commentary and Jim Ross going like no don't do it Okay, do love's return which was um, actually this was the, um, the Steve Austin and Vincent Man match That never happened ever because do love comes out and stops it from happening. So I've seen that match before. Um, hideous reunion. Um, something to do with Undertaker and Kane and Paul Bearer. Something to do with, to do with like the, the caskets of Kane and Undertaker's parents. It was interesting. I've never seen that one before. The Love Shack was like um, do when Mick Foley was do love. He had his like I guess he had this like um, segment kind of like Jericho's highlight reel or. Roddy Piper's um, Piper's Pit. This was called a Love Shack with Do Love, and this was interesting to watch. So called Mystery Partner. It was a tag team match. Um, I think it was The Rock and D'Lo Brown, I think, versus Stone Cold and Vince Man. So that was like a good tag team match, I guess. Stooges at work. It was um, the Bruce. Joe Briscoe and Pat Patterson, a handicap hardcore match. Or handicap match, I mean, I love the hardcore match against Stone Cold. That was a match I've never seen before, so that was cool. Where's The Undertaker? That's um, just um, the tag team Hell of Cell match on Raw, where it was Stone Cold and The Undertaker versus Kane and Mankind. Like I said, those four guys are in this, are in this extra lot. And it's called Where's The Undertaker because The Undertaker is not, it doesn't come out when he's introduced and then. Turns out he was like under the ring or something. But I've seen the match a lot of times. It's on the Best of Hell in Cell TV. Um, the Rock vs. Xbox for Intercontinental Championship. That was um okay match. That was good. Uh, the most memorable part of this match is after the match when um, Triple H tries to get a female in the audience to take her shirt off and Jesse does it. And Shawn Michaels is um, <laughs> at ringside to announce the tail and he's like enjoying it too. And then, um, Mankind and the Undertaker, a really good, um, like a no, no holds barred match from those two on Raw. Very entertaining. It's like only 10 minutes, so it's a good match. European title line, that's, um, like a typo because it wasn't really a European title match. It was just, um, 
a three on two tag team match. It was tag team of, of Shamrock, Mankind, and The Rock versus um, Undertaker and Kane. And that was a um, really fun anti air match. And all these extras are have to do with the Do Love and Stone Cold like feud. It's amazing how so many extras include like um Do Love or Stone Cold in this um in these extras. I don't think Stone Cold was in the on this extra, but he was in a lot of other ones with Do Love. And here's Mr. Sackle's debut. Now Mick Foley's now mankind now. He's no longer do do love. I think in the last after the last three um the last three extras he's mankind. And this is actually, I like this match a lot. I don't think I've ever seen this match before because it's it's just a regular um mankind versus you know Mark Henry match. It gets like maybe like four minutes, but from what apparently it seems like it's the first ever time mankind used Mr. Sakura in a match and used the put it on, put it on his hand and used it as a man of, man of a claw because even the announcer was saying like oh what's he doing what is, is he gonna put that thing on his hand so, so I think it was the first so I'm pretty sure it was the first time he's ever used Mr. Sakura in a match. So that was cool to see. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, that's all I'm going to say for this one. I, think, I think it was like almost three hours or over two hours. I'm not sure how long the extras were. But there was a lot of good stuff on this volume one. And I'll talk about volume two um, whenever I see it. Thanks.